ready for it. Second row's down. Let's go, Windsor. Second row's in. Lock in. Yeah, they're coming, mate. So Windsor loose and feed. Yet to post a try today. Can they? Yulene Gordon working in heavy traffic. Fluke was there in a bear hugging tackle. O'Hanlon likewise. This is Dwan Poaneki, hard and straight at the line. O'Hanlon and Armiton, Manuka Foa, the tacklers. 25 metres out, Cody Walker got rid of the first tackle of Matt Hunt. He couldn't get away from O'Hanlon. Piaharis, inside ball. And now in possession, it's Everett Varalsi. Got the pass from Joseph Paulo. A chance for Windsor now. Can they come up with a four-pointer? That's the fifth tackle. Out they go wide. And this is now Marte. And they're going to get their first try of the afternoon. Hallelujah. Michael Marte scores for Windsor. 32 points to four. With 12 minutes remaining in the game lead. Yeah, some uh, odd last tackle here they've gone. Rather than going for the kick, they've uh, gone through their hands and just sort of caught Chris Hicks coming in there. And uh, Marte uh, takes his chances and uh, whips in and uh, gets the first four, four points for Windsor. About 15 in from the Eastern touch line. And straight between the posts. And Paulo successful in raising the flags 32 to 6. Down to Drury. Yeah, thanks, Dave. I think it just goes back a little bit to what Lee was saying earlier. Uh, Wentworthville, they're not really playing that disciplined brand of football to really close a game out. They're still popping the pass, which isn't necessary, and just inviting Windsor uh, back into this game as far as an opportunity. And uh, full credit to Win Windsor. They're finally uh, on the scoreboard this afternoon. Juan Poanecki gritting his teeth with the kick return. This is Goldsmith, I think you'll find. Yes, it is Goldsmith playing it. Now across to Joseph Paulo, Cody Walker. It's wide out to the lock forward, Senny Lafeo. Play there, three. <coughs> right now, nine. So Windsor, can they That's four. come up with another try or two to get some respectability back into the scoreline? This is Junior Touch. Paulo, and Twice the ball's way, on the ground. First one this way. Oh. And then this way. Play first knock on Guy Missio, his frustration play. levels would be at record highs. Definitely. It was a great set from Windsor, and then just uh, towards the end of the set. Slice from Junior Paulo going wrong. All right, boys, bring him. And this oh, ball to or rather this scrum to be fed. Let's go, Wendy. Bend your backs. Cody Walker. Uh, Windsor at least get another chance. Everett Varousi. Varousi, he's away. And Varousi will race to the line unopposed and score the easiest try he's ever likely to score. Where were went with Phil? Well, he's done it all on his own. He's just sort of gone through and uh, it looked like went with Phil didn't know what was going on. Straight off the scrum here, off the left foot, finds a gap in behind there and just uh, turns Chris Walker inside out and uh, open try line. Great four pointer. In for the second try. They're back into it. <laughs> Game on. If you can call 32-12, being back in it. <laughs> Flags in the air. That's the scoreline. Paulo, two from two. So his kicking stats are intact for the afternoon thus far. Chris Walker smiling about something as he prepares to kick off. And back underway. So 20 points the differential now with seven minutes remaining on the clock in this... Round 16, New South Wales Cup game. Now this is in nine, Reese Goldsmith. And it's been helped according to the referee. Well, your knee's going in there and kicked it out, mate. Doesn't matter. He lost possession. What do you reckon, Lee? Yeah, the ref, ref has just indicated that he's led with the knee and uh, which has dislodged the, lodged the ball. Um, uh, that's, that's, a penalty. that's a bit of a rough, no. rough penalty. Oh, what do you oh, think, David? Oh, I think that went will feel very stiff. There's got to be some onus on the bloke carrying the ball. Now Croft. That's two. Uh, downfield. No. Met by Danny Howard. Now Paulo. 
And across they come from Walker. Now this is uh, Goldsmith playing out very wide, the number nine. Ryan Walker, Cody Walker. And tackled on the Wentworthville 10 metre line. In a good tackle by Savage. Across to the open side, holding it out in one hand is Joseph Paulo. Got the pass away, bit of razzle dazzle here. Jamie Theoharis kicks it through. Chris Walker has it. Leave it alone, leave it alone. And Chris, Chris, I'm standing Chris here. objecting Don't to something there. Out. I'm standing here. Look out down to Drury Falls for a comment Don't at this juncture. It. Yeah, look, I'll bring back the biff. It's never too late for a bit of biff. Five to go and a bit of frustration there. Chris Walker, I don't think he liked being thrown to the turf by Thea Harris on that occasion. I just want to mention, David, uh, Denny Howard, I, I think he's been very strong today for the Wentworthville Magpies. Did you know he only took up the game of rugby league in 2006? Originally from Canberra, played rugby, and Denny Howard made the switch and never looked back. All right, thank you for that. Appreciate that scoop. That's Juan one. Poenicki. Plays the ball for Windsor. 32 points to 12, Everett Varousi. Now tries to struggle through. And you can follow up Matt Hunt, Nathan Armit all there. Thea Harris appealing, appealing rather for a penalty, was not forthcoming. There's a lovely short ball to Senna uh, Lefeo. A basketball-like pass across the top now to Cody Walker. Walker explodes down the short side. He's got some footwork on him too. And comes to the tackle of Chris Hicks who made it stick. And Windsor here on the attack about five metres out from the Wentworthville line. Now it's Joseph Paulo. He drifts across field, links up with Dwan Poenicki, who in turn fends it off to Ryan Walker. Here's another try. Michael Marte. This time he improves the put down significantly. And they come up with their third try of the day, but it's too little too late. 32-16. Yeah, a good try there. Uh, the guy, the Windsor Wolves have left it to the last 12 minutes to play their football. Um, to sort of come back for it. They look like they're going to the open and they switch it back and uh, head back down the short side. Uh, Ryan Walker, a little bit of work to do. Draws the uh, Wentworthville Magpie, the last defender. He finds... He finds Michael Marte, who just scores a, a very similar try to the first one and uh, improves the position for another four-pointer. So another attempted conversion is successful from Joseph Paulo. Free th uh, sorry, three from three. 32-18. Wentworthville is dead set, clocked off, Drury. They'll be coming over there and sitting with you in a moment with a cappuccino. They might be thinking of the uh, week off already next week, David, but uh, there's certainly still more football to be played. Here's Junior Paulo. Pulls away. Super. Did well. Away to Ryan Walker. Walker in turn gets the pass back to Jesse Senna Lefeo. Lefeo taken oh, ball and all oh, by Matt God. Hunt. Everett Varousi. He's tried hard, Varousi. Two. The blue headgear has been involved oh, in a lot since oh. he came into the game. Only a couple of minutes remaining on the clock. This is Joseph oh, Paulo. Oh, and this is now Goldsmith. A hooker playing in the centres on the right side. There's a penalty. Yeah, I think we'll find this penalties for a rake, two in the tackle or offside or something. Indicating here. It's Goldsmith with the football. Goes back in field. Two players. Two players in the tackle. There's a penalty there. Yep, Savage and Manu Kafoa. Goldsmith. Not a big man, hurling himself into the Wentworthville forwards here. He's running like a back rower, isn't he, Goldsmith? Yeah, he is. Yaleen Gordon almost lost control of the football. They're 11 metres out. 90 seconds on the clock before Wentworthville takes an easy win in this round 16 game. Joseph Paulo away to Everett Varousi. Varousi towards the line. A basketball-like pass over the top. Back to Dwan Poenicki. And Poenicki will play it right in the centre of the uprights. About a metre out. Thea Harrison kicking it through is Joseph Paulo. And it's try time for Windsor again. Jesse Senna Lefeo coming up with the last try of the day. Look at that scoreline now. 32-22 with a kick to come. Well, I think the Wentworthville coach, Brett Cook, will be blowing up at his troops. They have dead set, buttoned off here. Definitely the winds of Wolves. Uh, it's all winds of Wolves this last 10 minutes, whereas they've been all game. But uh, a well-placed kick there. And uh, the, the guys, he's just missed the kick. Uh, unfortunate, 32-22.
with uh, only a few seconds remaining on the clock. Yeah, still pretty good stats with the boot. Three from four today for Paulo. And this won't restart this game. Five seconds remaining on the board. And it's all over. 32 points to 22. Victor's Wentworthville after defeating the Central Coast last weekend in round 15. They score another victory. Let's check the stats of the game full time. 32 for Wentworthville. Tries to Hicks, Savage, Pelotalisi, Mortimer, Uasale and Savage. Humble four from six. Marte got two. Walker and Lafayo for Windsor. Paulo three from four. Here's Drury. Man of the match today, it's Wentworthville lock forward Danny Howard. Danny, a polished performance from yourself and uh, for the team, now four wins in a row. Yeah, it was uh, been on a bit of a roll. It was a uh, good start, but disappointing. We sort of uh, took the foot off the pedal at the end and let them get a couple of cheap tries. The uh, extra four and against would have been good, but, you know, be happy with the win. Yeah, we've got to ask you, uh, what was the go in the last 15 minutes or so? Because uh, Windsor really came at you at the end there. They did. Uh, I think the coach is a bit disappointed too. We uh, we defended well, especially in the first half, but just lost concentration. And yeah, uh, I mean, having the big lead, so there was no excuse for that. Besides being playing really well of late, what do you think this went with Ville teams capable of in 2011? Well, we've got a bit of extra depth. Uh, a few of the boys come back, uh, Daniel Mortimer and the likes, and it's uh, yeah, it really helped us. Hopefully, if we keep keep all those guys, you know, you go a long way deep into the uh, competition. Mate, congratulations. Uh, good performance today. Go and enjoy it. Thanks a lot for that. Cheers.